and I guess at the end of the day it is what makes the most sense that it was Liz and not one of the other three who shot Clancy you know framing Big Al because she really has it in for guys like Big Al you know I suppose you could say what Jose was that his name the Mexican the Latino dude I mean he lost his fingers and he probably hated Big Al but it maybe still wasn't quite as you know and and his talk about you know he could take out Big Al was maybe kind of just posturing you know stroking his ego Vic at the end of the day she hates Big Al but she hates men in general I really liked how she owned the crap out of him verbally in I think it was basically her first scene her first scene with Mila I believe it was in the apartment you know and Riley I think he maybe wasn't quite he did want to get out of that kind of life and I liked how when Vic tells him that Angus talks, Big Al talks about him behind his back, you kind of hear the thing that probably does apply to him, the, that probably is about him, I mean, the stuff about, oh, he's so holy, you know, he goes praying, and, you know, there, there was that kind of sense that maybe she is true. Maybe maybe she's right about that, you know. That that worked really well several times in this. It you weren't entirely sure if people were telling the truth, and you kind of, I mean, in eighty eight minutes, you really got into this environment. You really understood how things worked, you know. People don't always tell the truth, and you know. I mean, even supposed friends, you know, everybody is trying to play everybody else in this, basically. Trying to get to Cat, you know. And she is a hot number, so I don't blame her. I guess I should go ahead and talk about the ending. I really like the whole... The, the pure ponage of the interview kind of thing in the prison, I guess it was, where, you know, she makes it pretty clear, you know, I'm kind of mixed up on the dates, you know. That was beautiful. That is what makes the beating not gratuitous. You know, that's pretty much the only reason, in my opinion, that that is not gratuitous. She owns him. She just completely devastates him and really shows her independence, her smarts. You know, she could run this crap completely on her own, you know. And now she'll be able to, or she might... You know, we don't know exactly what she'll do after the end of the movie, but now she's on her own and that's what she really wants to be you know at the end of the day after thinking about it after working up the courage to she does leave him and not only leave him you know she puts him behind bars and it looks like he will stay there because he has no alibi the gun was registered in his name there's his fingerprints all over the gun and someone saw someone in the Big Al coat run away from the scene of the crime. The one problem is, of course, the completely different builds of Big Al and Liz. Liz. But I don't know, maybe the whole, you know, witness thing wasn't as important. And it was dark, I guess, you know. 
that was just so good. And there was no hesitation, there was no... She just went for it, and she did it. I am not entirely sure if I think it's a better ending than if she did, you know, kill him. Like we think is what happened from all the interviews. You know, everybody says, I would... I would have wanted to kill him, you know, I had my reasons to, of course, and I don't know, I guess it's that killing him is kind of the plain thing, that's what everybody expects, and that's kind of the standard solution in American movies often, you know, if someone does something bad, you know, kill him, that's pretty much, you know, the standard solution, and as long as he does remain in jail, you know, that is, you know, a, a solution to the problem. And him knowing that it was her, you know, I mean, he could sit there in his cell for maybe decades, I mean, he killed a man, well, he probably did kill plenty of people, but they've got him for killing a man in cold blood. It wasn't in self-defense, there was no, you know, murder one. And they could probably give him plenty of years, you know, on that. And he now gets to sit there and stew over what he did to her, you know, that he didn't trust her more, that he didn't listen to her, you know, and, you know, move it on up, you know, get to a better place, a more interesting, classy place. And her, you know, walking away at the beach, so confident, so on top of the world, just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I don't quite agree the whole thing about the best thing in the world is looking out for yourself, but I will admit that you do have to look out for yourself before you can properly take care of other people. In my personal opinion, nothing beats, you know, being there for at least one other person and just knowing that, that yeah, I'm a hopeless romantic. One more thing. When Liz was talking to Angus Big Al, in the apartment, right before they leave, leaving Cat there in his arms. Did anybody else maybe think that you're kind of insulting the woman you're trying to protect? You know, she said, I'm not your skinny little girlfriend. Um, yeah, you can maybe have made it a little more abstract, you know, you could maybe just have said, you don't intimidate me. You know, I'm not someone you can intimidate, but whatever, you're the social worker, you're the person paid by the government. I did maybe also think that when Mila, when Kat said, everybody does something for something, I mean, hadn't Liz just admitted it's her job? Yeah, she's doing it for a paycheck, okay? Yes, some people really like their job, but... I mean, if you went above and beyond... You know, if you did something that you didn't have to do by your job, then you could say that it's a selfless act. But if, it, if it's your job, you're just doing your job, you know? It's like... I mean, don't get me wrong, I appreciate everybody who does important work to keep us safe, to, you know, to help us, but if it's a job, it's a job, you know, it's not quite as with people who give to charity or people who work for charities without, you know, getting any money out of it, you know, that is more selfless. I suppose that's about what there is to say about the movie. 
I do think some of the humor didn't entirely work. I mean, the thing with... I don't know where Kat gets her problems with men from. I mean, that was just... There were like three attempts at a punchline there. And it was just trying way too hard. It just wasn't funny. On the whole, though, it was very funny. I think that's what there is to say about the movie. So, these were my thoughts on 45 slash caliber 45. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time.